viewing and downloading files. Once a file has been uploaded to the service, you can preview the file if it is in a supported format and edit the file information. This can be done from the file section of a case or from a list of search results. Take a look in the help guide for a complete list of all video, audio, and image formats that can be previewed within the service's web interface. From within cases, video files that can be previewed will show a thumbnail with a play button over top. Click on the play button to bring up a preview window where you can play the video file, download the file to your local machine, and edit the file information. You also have controls for the audio volume, video speed, and to go into full screen mode. Click on the X on the top right corner to go back to the case. For images, videos that are not in a format that can be previewed, and other file types, clicking on the file in the case will bring up the file information. You can also see this information by searching for a file and clicking on it from the list of results. From the file information, you can see a preview of the file if it is available, and see information about the file that was sent, such as the file name, the size, who uploaded the file, and when it was uploaded. Clicking on the play icon in the preview window for a video file will bring up the same controls as we had seen earlier when previewing a video file from a case. If the location is given for the video, you can see the map in the previous window as well, and have a button to toggle the contents of the picture-in-picture -picture window. Click on the picture-in-picture -picture window to swap between the map and the video preview. In case there is GPS data associated with the video, the map will show a marker that will indicate where the camera was at the current play marker, and relocate it as the video plays. In the General section, you can add a description of the file if needed, and the start and end times of the file if it's a video, or just the date and time associated with the image or other file type. A file can be directly assigned a category by using the menu button below the date and time section. Categories can be assigned retention periods in the configuration section under the Retention Policies tab. If a retention period has been set up based on the file source or category, this will affect how long the file is kept on the service before it is automatically moved into the recycle bin. If a file is associated with a case, the category assigned to the case is used by the file if one has not been directly set within the file properties. Under the associated cases, you can add or remove the file from any open cases. Tags can be used to help find the file if needed. Add any one-word keywords that can help identify the file when searching. If there's no location information included with the file, you can set a location by typing in an address or opening the map and clicking on a location. Click and drag to move the map, and use the plus and minus or the wheel on your mouse to zoom. Searches can be done from within the map window as well. Once a location has been pinned on the map or an address has been entered, the geographic coordinates will be shown under the location. The scheduled deletion date is listed next, which takes into consideration the retention periods for any categories of cases the file has been associated with, the source of the file, and if it has been manually assigned a category. If multiple retention periods are applicable for a file, the service will choose the longest retention time. In case a piece of digital evidence is particularly important, you have the option to protect the file from deletion using the checkbox at the bottom of the General Information section. When editing a file, you can choose to delete it as well. Click on the Menu button on the top right of the page, and click on Delete File. This will move the file into the recycle bin until it passes the retention period for the recycle bin, at which point it will be purged from the service. The Delete option is only available if you do not have a checkbox in the Protect from Deletion option in the General File Information section. To download a file that you're viewing, click on the Download icon on the top right of the window next to the file name. Your browser will proceed to handle the download from there and prompt you for any information needed or show the download status. The prompts and file handling procedures vary depending on the browser used. 
While viewing a case, you can also download one or more files from the Files section. To download an individual file, click on the menu button next to the file name and select the download option. For multiple files, put a check in the box on the top left of each file you wish to download and click on the download button below the files list.